What up, it's your boy T-Bird here with the reaction. About to do a reaction from the Farm Brothers, though, in the React channel. This is, I also got to do it, Old Town Road by the Lord Knox. That's shout out to me getting shot right there. So, let's see how would re adults think about the song, the hit country slash rap crossover hit right there. So, it's not too long, not, it's, mm, trying to get words together. See, that's why I don't like people to talk about my talk, though, because I sometimes I can't get words together. But, it's been a while, as not the first our video I react to, or well, adults react to hip-hop song, adults react to XX Station on twice, God rest his soul, though. And one with 6 9 as well, too. So, this is Old Town, adults react to Old Town Road. Let's see how they do it. <laughs> My life. The two worlds collided and like they created a beautiful baby. Okay, uh, like she came from the college one. Yeah, I'm gonna take my horse to the old town road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. I'm gonna go. Oh, this is the remix. She's jamming. Very exciting. Old town. <laughs> I've just been seeing this all over Twitter. I've been seeing all the That's memes. That's younger people and adults now. Oh, because I'm thinking this is parents. All right, this is adults, not parents. My fault. <laughs> Mean, That's why. This is a great song. So there's a mixture of people from the college students and the adults and, the, uh, and parents were like him. So there's a mixture of a little bit. The older college students and them. I hate this song so much. He hated it. Like, it's... It's so annoyingly good to me. Oh, Faith. Cheated on my baby. I love Faith's Lindell a little bit, too. And I love the mix of both. Like, She's the two worlds collided, and, like, they created a beautiful baby. Do you consider this country? Like, yes, but no. I'm like, I don't know. know. Hat down, cross town, living like a rock star. Go ahead, Billy. See, this is the new. This is the added. <laughs> See, a lot of people love okay, okay, The dogs will let it be Cyrus. Dope. But it's just so funny hearing like an older like white dude rapping. Got a habit, diamond rings and Fendi sports bras. Riding down Rodeo in my Maserati sports car. I'm like a Marlboro man, so I keep going back. Wish I could roll. It's Billy Ray like low key dropping bars. Yep. It's so catchy. I just want to sing it. Take my horse to the I love the sound. It's like it's like country went like gang gang. <laughs> so this was a gang, remix gang. of the song Old Town Road created by Atlanta rapper, singer, and songwriter Lil Nas X that featured country star Billy Ray Cyrus. <laughs> I what a collaboration that none of us saw coming. So do you know anything about this whole trend around the Old Town Road song? I've seen the whole Old Town Road thing all over Twitter. People use it in like certain memes. Um, the song itself is very like meme type music. It easily lends itself to any sort of like meme dance True, it does. format. It was really meme worthy because it, it's totally different. Mm -hmm. It's got a great hook. And then I hear they pull it from the country chart. That's some bullshit right there, Billboard. So wow, we'll get into the history cool in a nice. moment and show you a lot more. But let's look at some of the reactions to this Billy Ray remix after it came out. Ha. <laughs> okay, but Billy Ray Cyrus ate them damn remix. Wow, that's so powerful. Yay! I love that we're there. It's always so funny when people use, like, clips from React or, like, anything from FB. I love this Elder's React video slash photo slash gif that always makes it in memes now. It's so perfect. <laughs> I didn't cry, but I was like, I felt it. It's cool to kind of, like, see that someone so high up in the industry is so willing to be able to just work with someone that's new what he Whoa. did was powerful but you know it's a song me man i hate country music also me listening to philly ray cyrus on the old town road remix my life mm -hmm. yes this is true that was honestly me i hate country music that's me 100 percent. he's seven the time of his life sure enough like i said I don't, I'm not a fan of country music like that, but yeah, Billy Cyrus on that joint, but I focus on um, the song, of course, because hip-hop and country, and mixed with country a little bit, and Billy Ray Cyrus, because one, Billy Ray Cyrus was like the pop of a uh, country at one point with the, I can break your heart though, everybody liked that song, regardless if you're a country fan or not, it was just a catchy song. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. This song goes hard. Oh, you don't want to like it because it's country, but like it's good. Y'all yeah. call me when you're ready to shoot the video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that go wild wild west west. Hey, oh, it was I love that. Like everything, he's like always like the first to hop on it. Like I don't know if he's in charge of his social media, but whoever Sorry, is, like the they're on here. it. Yeah. Freaking weird. Yo, seriously, oh, ain't so weird, but like creative. Anything. We need like a little Django Unchained tied in here. I feel like that would be the ultimate. So this remix is a continuation of an internet journey for this song. So jumping back to how most have said this original song began trending, Lil Nas X allowed TikTok users to freely use the song within the app, and it mm -hmm. quickly inspired these two different challenges that have gone by several different names, including Yeehaw Challenge or Yee Juice. I definitely have seen the Yeehaw Challenge, but I've been so confused about it, and now I'm kind of like, the puzzle pieces of Twitter are coming together. Oh my god, this is they so They do the thoughts of y'all dance, the blue face dance. Why does he look like he's in some girl's like, dorm room? Listen, I can't even be mad because he hit that. It's something that everyone can participate in too because everyone got a flannel. Get a girl. What you got? Oh, girl, I'm curious if I should do TikToks. I love it. Oh, I got the horses in the bag. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. Like, she look cute. And Alright, seriously. I've been seeing a lot of people do TikTok. Should I do TikTok or not? If we, or at least should I do a reaction to TikTok challenges or try to last? Let me know. Outfits were on point, but the dancing was horrible. <laughs> oh, this girl. I've always seen her on TikTok. Okay, I like this one. See, I'm just so impressed with TikTok. It's just I'm like, I can't do it. It's making people switch, you know, from what they're doing now. Getting that cowboy hat. Hey, Mother Texas dude. Say, you dying. Oh, ride that horse. You look cute. Oh. oh my god. Yeah, get get your kid on TikTok. Oh, <laughs> that's cute. That's okay, cute, that's little. cute. I want a son right now. I don't know. Right the Right? We always are gonna find something to do. We need a break sometimes from reality. Ah, the Yeehaw Juice. Yeah. Oh my god, he's in a big green tractor! <laughs> they doing the most. The they are doing the most. There's something just so fun about it. Like, the chorus is catchy and, and it's silly because hip hop country isn't something that like we see often. <laughs> Yee Juice. <laughs> Kitty! Not the cat! No! Oh lord, what do you have to do? Cowboy hat, cowboy hat, cowboy hat! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh! I have like a little mini pink cowboy hat for my puppy. I'm doing that. I'm replicating that. Come on, mom! Drink oh. that e juice. Queen! Oh sh! You turned to a dude! <laughs> <laughs> she loved that one. They even one of my favorite uh, reacts. My favorite adult reacts. So they did good. They looked like I saw she had a Nashville shirt on, so maybe uh, they're a little southern. I like it. It's really funny when like older people, like adults, like parents and stuff, try to like be young and stuff because it's really funny and it makes for good comedy. He juice but with a violin. It's a different version of the song. Oh, but with a violin. She better hit it. Oh my damn. Ooh. She's hit it. That shit. We got violin covers already. Nice. Sick. Oh, showcase that. Go ahead. Talent, That's man. nice. That, that is awesome. Talent see how right she there. has talent. People are like doing their own little twists on it. That's that's like what I like to see. Okay, you've seen the challenge videos and you know the remix. So finally, here is the original song and video for Old Town Road. And then we'll get into all the controversy behind its success. All right, I swear to God, if I don't see a horse, I'm going to be real mad. Take my horse to the Red Dead Redemption. I'm very confused. I got the horses in the back. This is all digital one or animation. This is nice. Red Dead 2. Red Dead 2, yep. That's what he used for the video? They did the music video for Red Dead Redemption? Oh my god. His graphics. 
graphics are insane. Graphics are so good nowadays. Like, this is insane. Hey, it's fun. It's cool. It's like, there's something about the whole cowboy thing that's just so popular right now. Now they should do a party in the USA, but with GTA 5. Like, there's so many different ways to take video games and music now. That was very interesting. I like the remix way more. Well, now anybody who likes Red Dead Redemption but hasn't heard his music or his song, now boom, that's a whole new fan base. Right. Well done, little Nas. Now there's like this formula where uh, people are intentionally kind of like making fun meme music, and because it's it's made to be meme people are throwing it into memes and it just like works. So that was the original single that was released in 2018 by Lil Nas X, in part from things like using footage from the game Red Dead Redemption 2. That's so weird, but I guess I get it. I'm guessing he he didn't have much of a budget, so they kind of worked with what they got and this is a creative way to do it. And because of the momentum of the challenges and the memes that it spawned, the song ended up going viral. And with how the charting data is now compiled, that can include digital streams. So this song actually debuted on the Billboard chart. Right, and it nice. was number 19. Wow, that's like really good. But it was on the country music charts. Screw the billboard, like that's number one in the world. This is 10,000% mm -hmm. a country song. I don't know how you would say it's a rap song over a country song, but this caused a lot of controversy because people felt that it wasn't truly a country song mm -hmm. and wasn't truly a hit either because it was more of a trend online. So what's your opinion on that? I mean, isn't something a hit if it's a trend? That right. feels so contradictory to me. There's no traditional way for music to be spawned that's... anymore. Like, that's out the window. So if Billboard is strictly speaking with radio airplay, that's, like, decades old at this Pretty point. Much. If everyone's sharing it and everyone's listening to it, it's hot. I don't really think it's a country song, but it also kind of does that thing where it bridges, like, okay, you know, you get your, like, hip-hop rap type stuff. Mm -hmm. Who's to say that it can't be country? Like, if he put it in there and he said, oh, I classify this as a country song, then if that's what you call it, then I'll just have to accept it as country. It is a country song because country itself, as a genre, also has many sub-genres. Why can't we use hip-hop and then kind of meld it in with country? Who are the people that are judging it? Because if you look at the challenges, a lot of people loved it. So, I mean, who who can say definitively, like, what is country music? So, after the controversy about this, Billboard actually removed Old Town Road from the country mm -hmm. charts, saying that it didn't embrace enough elements of today's country music to chart its current Lies. version. Lies. So, Lies. You know no, I don't. Country needs to come on. Let's... let's Get with the times. Let's go. And I think it's a very close-minded thing to say. As time goes on, things evolve, and even down the music and how it sounds. That was probably like a, a solid group of like maybe five people that came to that conclusion, and they all just, you know, they probably specialize in country music or the generic country music. It's good to step the boundaries a little bit, and I like he killed it. If a new wave of interest or a new way of direction that it goes. It upsets people, and people are afraid. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? And I, I think that's sad, and it mm -hmm. immediately needs to be rectified. Right. So after it was removed is when, in response, some say that this collaboration with Billy Ray Cyrus happened. Champion. He's the man for that. And regardless of what genre you think the song belongs to, on April 6, 2019, on the heels of Billy Ray Cyrus's response to the original Old Town Road, it reached number one spot on all of Billboard on the Billboard Hot 100, meaning it was ranked the most popular in sales, radio play, and online streaming. Exactly. Okay, so that's how you use your white privilege to up the level of other people in shenanigans. They had yeah, it on the country charts before the remix. It was obviously created by a black man, and then it took she a works. white singer to jump in for them to be like, okay, it's country now. I think that that's kind of fishy. So mm -hmm. do you think that... That means she got a point right there. Um, if you didn't read those little, little, um, little, little, little thing in the bottom they talking about, with, um, about the, when they talking about Billy Ray Cyrus, yeah, Billy Ray Cyrus went through that same thing with his single, It Can Break Your Heart, though, because it felt it was more pop the country, so it, took a, it, got, it got removed the chart. So that's part of the main reason why, that's the main reason why he hopped on as well, too, people, for people that didn't know. Though, and um, that's why I got props because everybody's saying that he's gonna do it anyway because of that. And props to him for that, though. Like I said, A. Bring Heart was it, 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 you like country, regardless if you like country or not, you you like to make it break your heart because it's a catchy tune, the catchy ass tune back in the 90s. That people 
people are actually like this song and are playing it, or do you think a lot of people are trolling to try and get it to be popular since it was originally taken off? I think it started off as a joke, but then I think the more it got played, the more people kind of got into it. It's definitely a 50-50. People are going to do it just because it's like, oh, we can uh, take this and make different variations of it, but then other people are like, no, this song actually slaps. It's a mixture of both people trolling and people that actually enjoy the song because, you know, I, I like the memes, but I also recognize that the song's fire. I like the song, so I'm going to go ahead and guess that people genuinely do like the song. It's something different. It's something that, like, we haven't really heard before, which is hard. So, finally, do you think that this will have lasting power and will be considered a number one hit of 2019? Or do you think it will be looked at more as a meme and a trend online rather than a hit song? If he, if he didn't have Billy Ray Cyrus on the song, it would definitely just be a meme. But the fact that he got Billy Ray Cyrus on there is just going to cement it as like an actual song. I want to say that it'll stay up there and it'll be like a genuine like good song of 2019. But um, it, it's kind of like the thing with like, you know, like Drake's song, like the Kiki. It, it, it comes and it goes. It'll be a song that we remember and we enjoy. And maybe uh, three months from now, we'll all be at a, like a club and someone will throw the song on and be like, Whoa, dude, you just did this all down road. It's going to be a number one hit because um, he wrote that song. It's not just some repetitive words. I mean, he tells a story. So I think it's something respectable. I don't know, actually. We'll see. You know what I mean? This is the first time that it's been it's going in this direction. So we'll see. And honestly, whether it does or it doesn't, really doesn't matter. We're going to be on to the next thing and so forth and so on. Thanks for watching this episode of Adults React and shout right. out. So that was nice to, um, that was nice that the, that the younger adults like around my age and the older ones, like the parents, all gave it props to them. I'm saying, regardless in their own way, they all gave it props. You no know, this and all like that. It was supportive of it. And it was, it was really a whole, uh, like supportive of, um, Billy Ray Cyrus contribution as well too. Especially Faith though. Like, you know, she's very, like, because I, I mean, I like Faith because I, I remember from the Exodus Sensation video. The first video, she did not like that dude. And the second video, she kind of loved that dude. Like, she's growing more and more of me on those videos, though, and the many others, too. I see. Like, the guy, I've got the guy named Jadlock's name. He's cool, too. I like him. And the, good, the one sunglasses I remember from the, uh, I think, from the college one or the other younger adult ones as well. When they did it for the anime and stuff like that. But, yeah. Like,. How do you put on the Vine Brothers? That's be nice because they got like a little good staff of people from kids, from adults to kids to even older folks, of course, though. How do they get put on? She boy, yeah, Vine Brothers. How, how, how brother can get put on, man? Probably, probably if I know how to talk because everybody can talk from my bad speech. But anyway, it's your boy T Bird signing off. One love.